This is the story of Joseph and Etienne Montgolfier. They were born in France in the 1740s. Their father was a paper manufacturer in Lyon in the south of France and they had 14 brothers and sisters. Life must have been very difficult but they shared a common dream to keep them going through tough times. What a wonderful thing it would be to fly. Yes, indeed. Maybe someday your dream will be fulfilled. Let us go inside and maybe an idea will come to us. I know, I will get a paper bag and fill it with steam. Oh well, it didn't work after all. I have it. This cannot fail to work. I too will get a bag and I will fill it with gas from sulfuric acid and iron filings. Oh well, I just don't understand it. Gas rises, so why didn't the bag? I have an idea, Joseph. Let's try using a paper box and see if it flows. Oh well, it was a good idea anyway. Have you got any good ideas, Joseph? Actually, I do have one, but I don't think it will work. What is it then? We could try using an envelope full of hot air. That's a brilliant idea, Joseph. Let's try it. It seemed as if the brother's dream was in reach. Joseph, now we know that it works, let's try to make a large scale one. They started making a large scale experimental balloon using taffeta ropes. What will happen? It can't fly. Big stacks like that. They must be mad. They're Mongolfier brothers. With their first public demonstration on the 4th of June 1783 in Anony, France, the Montgolfier brothers' hopes rose along with the balloon. The balloon went to a height of 1,000 metres. But they didn't do it alone, oh no. Hundreds of busy women sat sewing hours on end to make the new balloon. In the end, it took 2,000 buttons and that's how it happened. Round up! Round up, get your buttons in. Buy one medium brown button and get one pink lacy one free. Good day, sir. Can I please have 2,000 medium cream buttons? I don't quite have 2,000, my good fellow, but I can give you 986. And all the rest, I'll order for you and deliver to your factory. I don't mind. Thank you. Here are the rest of your buttons, sir. You owe me 100 francs. Oh no, after this I'll be broke. Never mind, here you go. So the balloon was made, the only thing left to do was to make it fly. Hurrah, it works, but I don't know why. It must be all that smoke. Let's make some more. Well, that's my shoes gone up in smoke. The trouble is, I don't think it was the smoke after all. I think it was the heat that caused the balloon to rise. Well, if it's your idea, you owe me a pair of shoes. In September 1783, the Montgolfier brothers held a historic flight in the presence of King Louis the 16th of France. Oh, Joseph, help me gather those animals up to the hot air balloon. Sorry, Etienne, I was talking to the king. <coughs> the smoke smells terrible. After liftoff, the balloon finally flew up to a height of 500 metres and traversed three kilometres. So, it was a successful invention after all. Look, here's the military man and the science teacher who have come for our investigation. Good morning. I've come to test your new invention. I really hope it will work. Hello, I've brought you a penknife in case the balloon is too heavy so I can cut the ropes that are holding the weights on. It looks like they are doing extremely well. What a strange sight up there in the sky. In total, our flight lasted for 25 minutes, reached a height of 900 metres and landed 10 kilometres away. Well done! You've created a brilliant invention and it was a very good flight. We're heroes! That is the end of the Montgolfier brothers' story and they finally accomplished their dream to fly. <laughs>